Hello, friends and gamers. I goofed. Well, okay. So at the time of recording this, I am a little bit late to getting into the patch for Honkai. This, I don't even think I said it in the patch video. It's 7.4? 7.4? 7.4. Um, here's a really fun thing. Um, I saw that this event, Seven Shoes in the Maze, starts or ends May 1st. Or I think it's May 2nd, but I put it in my calendar as May 1st because that, for me, it's like technically May 1st. Anyways, it started with a cutscene and I immediately X'd out my game. So I may, thought I'd be able to go back and see the cutscene. No, no. So we're not seeing that, but it has thrown me now into this. Um, because <laughs> so we're just gonna start the video. We're doing seven, seven shoes in the maze. Ooh. Okay. After entering the story chapter, extinguished starlight and rekindled fire, the bridge will default to the new one, which uses the character's location as the background. Okay. I think it's because I accidentally threw myself into something part two related that this just started. The character displayed on the bridge is the one being controlled in Oshia and will change accordingly. So I can't put my own characters. I want to throw Kiana on there. You can change the bridge display up here. Yeah. Let me do that. Change bridge can be changed freely. Okay. I mean, we should probably keep it for now. I just want to change my character. Not that I don't like Dreamseeker, I just love Kiana more. Um, so let's do Seven Shoes in the Maze. This is- I threw myself into this. Seven Shoes in the Maze. Let's go. I think it might actually play that scene again. I just- because I did- yeah, okay, it's gonna play that video again. Cool. This is what I just X'd out of, because I- I don't think this is main story, is it? We might be doing main story tonight. But what's seven shoes in the maze? Me? Wait, what the? <laughs> I thought we were Dream Seeker. Um, hello. Um, okay. I guess we're auto playing that. Um, what's going on, guys? Oh, wait. We're so we're a cat. Why are we cat? Why? <laughs> what is going on in this Honkai video? <laughs> Oh, me in quotations. Okay, so that is us. Okay. 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 Noted. Oh. Now I just have a full. Oh, is that a switch? <laughs> Fantasy switch. Fantasy sci fi switch. Oh, hello. That. Okay, we're moving. Um, I'm also perspective locked. Oh, we, we're in a cat cafe. I don't know what's going on because I've never. I haven't done the main part of this so i'm just kind of rocking with it we're doing an event because it's gonna end we're in the rotunda this is really cool part two animation's really cool okay observe what is this osha city foundation heritage anchor of the apocalypse do we want to read this yeah i want to read it in the veins of the uprooted tree lies the eternal fate bestowed upon us by the heavens in this new abode these were the words spoken by our ancestors during the founding of Langchio millennia ago, as recorded in the ancient chronicles. A century ago, the venerable seven shoes left us with invaluable teachings through the same proclamation. So, okay, I guess this is a good thing to read before we get into this then. Just as withered trees may come back to life in spring, so does a ravaged world. Okay, all right. Anchor of the Apocalypse, we christened our most precious legacy, this ominous name, to commemorate the world's past. Apocalypse? They put the apocalypse in there. Apocalypse? I am brain rotted. The cataclysmic tide once cast us into the abyss of quantum uncertainty. Yet, in a corner of the sea of data, buoyed by the sacrifices of the seven shoes and the benefaction of the cosmos, we not only persevered but flourished birthing a new civilization within the domain known as a bubble universe. So they do know about bubble universes here. That's good to know, just because it's like, how awkward is it going to get when we have to explain things later? They know about the bubble universe. Okay. Today we erect a monument around this cherished legacy. It shall endure not merely as a landmark of Osha, but as a beacon inspiring all citizens to forge ahead into the future. May the spirit of the seven shoes remain immortal, and may the flame of civilization never be extinguished from the 16th mayor of Osha, Shuanglin on the 37th day of the 18th month in the 105th year of the era of relocation. I don't know any of those numbers mean. I'm not even gonna try to guess. So this is so cool. The only thing is um, I can't like if I want to move around. New? Oh, wait, new? Oh my, new book, new book just dropped. Okay, um, I don't know what's happening. Ooh, all the events in the sandbox are listed on this page. So that's what this is maybe? Or it's maybe not. Information about the selected event can be viewed on the right, which is Banquet Dance of Shade. Okay, that is the actual event. That has 25 days left, so we're not going to do that right now. Instead, we're going to do the Seven Shoes. We need to get a Phase 2, I think. At least, I'm assuming that's what we need to do for the 
for sure of origin reward bonus, but I would like to try and finish the whole event. So we'll have to see what we can get done in the next couple of days. We have a teleport stake. Okay, so I will not call that a teleport waypoint. I probably will call it a teleport waypoint. Knowing me, I probably will. Do we not have a sprint? Or are we technically like sprinting now? Is it like an auto sprint? Maybe. We're home. That's our house. I guess more like apartment. That makes more sense. We have autoplay, which is nice. There's so much... The, the, the cutscenes are so dynamic, which I really like. Hello. Where are we? <laughs> I like how it just says me in quotations. Like, they don't even just put our username. <laughs> oh, we pulled an all-nighter. And we think that's why we're seeing things. No, bestie. Dream seeker, no. <laughs> so... We're in the student. Oh, we're a student in the dorms. Okay. I thought it was like a work assignment. My bad. This is such, this is such a vibe. Oh my God. Wait, we have a whole little room here. Oh my God. Wait, is the TV actually reflective? Kinda. Oh my gosh. That's wild. What about the windows? The windows are not reflective. That's wild. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. <laughs> Dang. I wish my school looked like this. Dang. There's an upstairs portion. We have to share this area with like another student. No, this is like all us. Pick up. Oh God, I'm not reading this. Nope, not reading that one. That's like an a uh, abstract examine. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm getting sidetracked. We're just gonna go to sleep. We are just gonna go to sleep. This is so, so cool though. It's so cool. So there's our bed. Oh, this is such a vibe. We even have like a nice computer setup. They did give us a Mac, which I don't like, but like it's a nice little setup. What's on the desk? What is this? I don't know. This is so vibey. We sleep? I'm standing on the bed. I can't jump on the bed, but I can't stand on it. Okay, what are we gonna- what horrors will we see in our dreams? Are we sleeping with our clothes- our outside clothes? Really? What's in the book? Oh god, it's floating. Hey. What's up? Why is everything floating? These cutscenes are insane for part two. They're so dynamic. It's, so, it's like a different game. Wild. Absolutely wild. Oh, have you ever marveled at the starry sky and how it came to be? That sounds like a Grisio line, but like not really. It's gonna be Thelema. It's as beautiful as life itself, yet eternal like death. And I know it's saying it in Japanese, but I am just gonna try to read over it because... Ah. Oh. Where are we? Where is this? Looks like a ship of some sort? Okay. Part two kind of goes insane. Just like the graphics of it, it's kind of goes insane. Oh, I, I'm like totally locked. Like I'm covering. Should we, should I move over the box? I don't think we need to yet. But like we keep getting perspective locked. So I'm like, should I like go in the opposite corner? But I don't know if I'm going to be covering any. I don't think I will be covering combat UI. Oh, there's Mars. <laughs> Nothing but a mere illusion. Okay. Is this the bad ending? <laughs> Is this the bad ending? Oh god. I think that might be Thelema speaking. We don't even have anything to say to that. Merely a dream, alright. The end of time. I don't think I want to see the end of time, bestie. Bestie Thelema, I don't think I want to see it. This planet is Mars. <laughs> Not Mars. They don't call it Mars on Mars. On Mars, it's the Luo Xing. Planet-sized tome for civilization. Interesting. Is that because of the Great Eruption? They also had a Great Eruption, it looks like. Oh. The sky and the ocean, yeah. Okay. Now called Mars, okay. Drifting in the Sea of Quanta. Okay. The Sea of Quanta prevails. <laughs> it's still here. Can't get rid of that one. Whoa. Okay. Only specks of light. So this is like more like IRL Mars, but people never lived on it. People never lived on it. 
Countless futures. Well, it does kind of make sense, the countless futures thing. So this is just another bubble universe for Mars. Right? That would make enough sense. If just a different Mars bubble that went bad, I guess. Oh, that messed up my OBS heavy. Oh my god. My like when my when the screen went like black enough, my OBS did too. Oh my god. That my PC did not like that. Dear God. What is that though? These will form a covenant? I'm sorry, a what? We're not doing cult stuff, are we? Not today. I stand before you. We're doing this again. We did this with Kiana and Senna, and now we're doing this with Dreamseeker and God knows who. It's it's the Lima, I'm pretty sure. It's also so loud. Do we have to turn the sound down? We might have to. I probably won't. I probably will not. Hello. Where are we? It's pr it Is it? No. Is that Senna? So is this what happens after the Kiana bit? No, that's Senna. It wasn't the Lima at all. Interesting. Okay. Oh. That's Senna in her other outfit. Huh. I need to turn autoplay on, for real. Like, just keep it on. Autoplay automatically is on. Oh. From a different time. So we were a student. <laughs> now what are we- now we're doing God knows what. These liquidations. Rituals and covenants. Sana! Is she like from the past or something? Oh, that was like a glitch, weird thing. Um, sure. I got nothing to lose. <laughs> I got nothing to lose. Sure. Oh. Pretty. Wait, it's a little video. Oh. Oh, they're so cute! This is really cute! Oh, what's gonna go wrong? <laughs> okay, I'm hooked on part two. I'm so totally hooked on part two. I feel like this is just part two story, not even event content, but maybe it is? Oh, It's just, it's so dynamic without being like overkill, you know? Oh, They're so cute! <laughs> Oh, pretty! I also, um, I really, I have to make note of this. Um, when she did the, like, split jump thing, and even that, the, her toes are pointed, and that's like a ballet thing. I, I'm so, they animated her toes pointed. Like, look, look at that, look at that, that is, that is so good! Oh my, I'm, I applaud that, actually, that's such a little detail. That's not the first time Hoyoverse has done something like that, though, with little details that it's just like, no one else would notice that. Nobody else. Like, one of my favorite instances is in Genshin. A lot of the cryo characters, like, specifically Ayaka, when she jumps up from the ground, her positioning and, like, her foot is crossed, like, oh, how a lot of figure skaters jump, and she's a cryo character, and I think it's really cool. But that was really cool with the, like, the pointed toes. That, that was a good point. It was a good point. I know I just mentioned figure skating, but I, a ass partial aside, I did competitive figure skating for a very long time, and because of that, I also did ballet, so I noticed these things. <laughs> We're just seeing all like these worlds. It's kind of insane. So it's so pretty. Has this cutscene been uploaded anywhere? Because like I need to watch it again and again and again. It's beautiful. It's actually beautiful. It's very long, but it's beautiful. Wow, and the northern lights! I love the northern lights! This is everything I could want. Beautiful scenery. Accurate dancing. So is this where we're start- Oh, no, it's not where we're starting. There's all these animals. I'm so, cu I'm so curious where we're going from here. But it's also just beautiful. Like, 
Hey, oh, what? So this must be the eruption. Oh. Yeah, that's the eruption. Okay, so Mars was like a beautiful planet. And then there was the Honkai eruption, or not Honkai eruption, but just an eruption. Wow, that was a really good cutscene. Oh, there's more. The sea is singing with a voice of fire. That line kind of goes hard. <laughs> that line kind of goes hard. <laughs> we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make the sound a little bit lower i think it's really loud but oh transcending time and space i think this might just be part of part two i don't think it's actually event content because this goes too hard to be from an event you know you can't even skip this this is unskippable an unskippable honkai cutscene who would have thought autoplay I thought that when part two dropped that the sound got weird and it's a little bit louder than it was before. I think it just is a continuous thing. Your dream has entered mine. This can't be event content. There's no way. I'm, just, I'm, I'm enthralled at this point. Final revelation of the world. Okay. So are they both technically from Mars, but different iterations of Mars, maybe? And that's why Senna's looking for our dream seeker? Or technically us? Resident of the Bubble Universe. Okay. Sea of Data. Okay, so the Sea of Quanta is also the Sea of Data. Noted. No, I'm noting that one. I do really like the dynamic cutscenes, like, because we usually get, like, visual novel-style cutscenes, but these are really nice. I do have to say they're really nice, and it makes recording easier for me because I don't have to worry about covering someone's face. Oh. We're saving the world! <laughs> We're part of the trio now! Save everyone's souls. That's like SOS, right? Save our souls. Or is it selves? Oh my god. Senna! Oh, she's glowing. Oh, it means the glow of faith. That makes a lot of sense. She's literally glowing. <laughs> if she ends up, like, if it ends up being in the scenario where at the end of the world, when everything's fixed, she, like, evaporates into light, I swear to god, I'm gonna lose my marbles. I don't want to lose Senna. Like, that's gonna hurt. Maybe not as much as Himiko, but it's gonna hurt. Those are the astral ring. Oh, astral rings! This is how we become an astral ring! <laughs> Interesting that they- did they call it a swan song, was it? I have no- I can't go back in the... Logs. I don't have them here. There's no, uh, dialogue history. Save your- save your civilization with some crystals. <laughs> Companions from another planet! That's uh, Helia and Coralie. But before that, what are we up to? Can you tell me your name, Dream Seeker? Oh. Oh, so we can change our name later. Interesting. It really does feel like a whole new game. Like, it, I know I've said before, it would make total sense. I also want to turn off autoplay because I don't know if it's going to, like, cap in for me. It would make total sense if this was released as like a whole new game, not just as Honkai Impact 3rd Part 2, but also Hoyoverse was released last year, they did Honkai Star Rail, and this year they're releasing Zenless on Zero. So I feel like to release another new game with like a new, like an engine and all that on top of that would be a lot of work. So it also makes total sense that they would just put this as Part 2 of Honkai Impact because it has similar themes, but it really does feel like this should have and could have been its own game like it would have made total sense because this is like how you start a game here but i'm also in entirely okay with it being part of honkai because that means i don't have to download another game <laughs> listen listen i have them all on my pc right now and i it does not have enough room i have access to the zenless one zero beta right now it's not looking cute there's too many games from hoyovers that are taking up way too much room on my pc but can I delete them? No, I like all of them. All right, let me put my name in. Oh, I'm in caps. It's probably from when I put in the Honkai Star Rail code in the last, <laughs> in the patch. It wasn't even the last Honkai video. It was the patch video. All right, we're in. We're in, gamers. We are a part of part two. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable making a covenant with Senna. I trust her, but also that seems too culty. 
I'm pretty. Pretty. Sana! Come back, Sana! Oh, it's a dream, actually. But then how do we get real life Sana? How does that work? How do we get Sana IRL? Ooh. Whoa! I need to make this lower! Whoa! Part 2 is beautiful, by the way. Part 2 is actually beautiful. What the heck? Playoverse, what the heck? Are we on a black screen? A narrator now? Okay. Oh. Teenagers are most prone to falling in their dreams. I'm not so sure. I still fall in dreams and I have not grown in years. <laughs> I stopped growing a long time ago. <laughs> Sigh and relief. I mean, yeah, I've, I've done the wake up from nightmare. Realize it was just a dream and you're like, thank God. A harmless illusion. Bestie, you, have you ever thought about a nightmare for the entire, like, week after? I have had night. There's nightmares I had as a child that I still think of frequently. Okay? I still think of them frequently and they still freak me out. Anyways. Oh! Oh! Wait! <laughs> That's Aichan and Sa, isn't it? That was her name, right? Why is she not wearing shoes? I, they said they. So I think they're. I think I'm just doing the story. I think I'm just doing part two story. That probably I needed to do in order to continue or something. I don't know. What did I throw myself into? I don't know. This covenant. Oh. They know what's going on? I'm sorry, what? Young people have endless potential. There's so much happening. There's so much happening. Oh my god, this is such a small detail, but her uh, her heels are on the floor. That I That's actually quite fun. Considering they're in like a plane. Who is our narrator? Is it not Sa? <laughs> Two strangers who met by chance. A ripple in the sea of... What are you... Oh. What are we doing? What are we doing? Let us go back to where the dream began. Okay. So is this... What is happening? Could I have an explanation from someone? Who's that? That's Senna. That's IRL Senna. And Helia. How did we get here? <laughs> Gorly. If I maybe I should have done the story prior to, but like this is the sense on the second or something. Let me do it now, please. We'll get back to the the main event soon. Are we <laughs> It's IRL Sana! <laughs> Met in a dream. That's what happens in Honkai Star Rail! <laughs> Corny pickup line. Were her eyes more pink in the dream? They look more blue here. I'm not sure though. So we're just as confused because we haven't done the full story. <laughs> Sana! Sana! We love Sana. <laughs> Locked up face to face. I missed so I missed a season then. That's okay. We'll do the other season soon. <laughs> oh. So they broke us out. Okay. Thank you, Coralie and Helia. Things happen. <laughs> コラリー、そう警戒しなくてもいいよ。コラリー。私はヘリア。エルデシュヘリア。ありがとう。<笑><笑> I guess she's not off by saying that we're technically aliens. We're not from here. Oh, we're in a quantum space. Okay. Good to know. This is this is good to know. Why were we in the cube? I don't know. Were we sent back in time? Maybe. 
Technically, we, they, they are aliens. Um, they're not from this planet. I guess that is what an alien is. Um, okay. Oh, we have the astral rings now. They look like little pins and charms. <laughs> so Sana knows what they are. Do we give one to each of them? Maybe? Because there's three of them, and then there's three of the characters. It's an in-universe lore explanation for the astral ring system. Sana has no memories. Okay. That makes a certain amount of sense. Senna, do you know... Oh, okay, so Senna knows her name, but... I don't necessarily... Oh, we shared something with them. The narrator bits go by very quickly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Why would we lie? We just got out of a cube. Why would we lie? We have no reason to deceive, yes. The constellations? Interesting that constellations is what they go to if each of them get an astral ring charm thing. Because Genshin has the constellations. God, oh my god, okay, history, bring it up. So out of curiosity, the red-headed girl reached out for one of the astral rings. However, the instant her finger touched the oniric... Oniric? I, li I knew how to say that word at one point because of... Raiden Genshin Impact, but I don't remember. Treasures, yes. What the heck is that? What in the world? Okay, we're fighting. Martian Honkai Beast. All right, let's go. We have trial team. Let's do it. Wow. Okay, pop in Helia. Corley's in. Send us back in. We did it. Oh, nope, they're back. Okay, that's, that's lovely. There's more of them. Hey. All right, dealing damage increases astral ring intensity. Let's do that then. Senna and our dream seeker. And then we ult Senna. I don't know the sequencing for this. I'm just rocking with it. Whoa, Helia's in. Can I just... Oh, we finished. We finished with Helia. Okay, it's so like, can I just like hold down and do the thing? We finished the thing. <laughs> I'm going to have to hover around autoplay so we can pause when we have a narrator bit. Because I'm going to have to read that and it just flies by too quickly. Senna, you're not a jinx! We love you, Senna! We love Senna in this household. We do. <laughs> I love how, like, even when we're just standing here, the cutscenes look so good. I don't know why they look and how they look so good. Because I think, I still think some of the cutscenes in Star Rail where we're just standing there are very stiff, but they look so good here. Oh, they all have a little astral ring, don't they? <laughs> Oh, Astral Op is what it, it was called, not Astral Ring. Okay. Forgot the actual name of it. It's Astral Op. Okay. How did we get them in a dream? And then have them in real life? That was a weird bit. Are we gonna unpack that one? Anyone? Yeah. Don't understand. We'll understand it eventually. <laughs> Dead planet. So do we not have our cool apartment in the rotunda anymore? Because that was a really cool apartment. So we woke up... This is the sea of data. Okay. Okay. How did we know? It looks so different from, like, Sea of Quanta, but also has a really similar vibe in certain parts, which makes a lot of sense. Sketch it out. Is this where we get a map? This is the lore, in universe lore explanation for maps. Oh. Okay. You can draw! <laughs> uh, looks like Mars. So, is there just these random sea of data areas on Mars post Honkai eruption? That would make enough sense. You shouldn't have been able to... Okay. What is, what is up? <sighs> this is so weird. I have to yawn. <laughs> Coralie looks intrigued. She's like, okay, I'm listening. Alright, I believe you. I'm in listening. 
Coralie feels bad. The third planet. Yeah, Mars is fourth. Earth is third. Hey, um, can we go back to Coralie for a second? Does she have a fidget spinner on her sleeve? Just like attached to her sleeve. Fidget spinner. Why? <laughs> like, I thought, I did think the razor blade keychain was weird. I wasn't going to say anything, but I think these are fidget spinners on her sleeve. So there's two of them. There's like a safety pin here. What is going on with Coralie's outfit? <laughs> what is going on? There's so many things. Just little gadgets and gizmos. So we have our, the travel log from these two, which is probably the that main story we haven't done. Dear God. It is in 2024 and 2023. Let's just, let's uh very quickly br brush through this. So September 22nd, 2023, waited on the Ring of Fire orbit for three months. Touched down in the March district today. Okay. Mars, here we come. Then October 18th, 2023, Coralie drove their Mars rover on an expedition. They found a small piece of unknown metal. Preliminary tests confirmed traces of unidentified Honkai energy. On November 1st, 2023, the 15th day of investigating the unknown ruins. They dub it the Sand Pit. Then we go all the way to January 1st, 2024. There's a big gap. Spent New Year's on Mars. Survey work progressing smoothly. Plants cultivated. Harvested lettuce. Potatoes. No breakthroughs in the Sand Pit. It is indeed ancient, though. Conservatively estimated to be over a billion years old. Okay. Most rocks on Earth aren't this old. Okay. Still nine months left until we return to Earth from here. I feel like that nine months is going to be extended for whatever reason. We go to January 27th, 2024. It's always Helia recording this as well. Cleared out all the sand from the sand pit. They found an ancient cement floor and a door leading to an underground space. One faction advocates of headquarters. One faction of headquarters advocates to open the door and explore. Others suggest to leave the sand pit alone. Understandable. That is very understandable. I'd be like, take that thing back where it came from, or so help me, you know? Coralie and Helia both want to leave it alone because it takes two years for a round trip to Mars. We must provide as much help as possible for subsequent explorers who can remain indifferent to curiosity. Okay. We go to January 29th. Other work progress was paused and they're prying open the door to the sand pit. Tesla was dissatisfied with the act. Uh, a director, Nagamitsu, was more than happy about it. Einstein thinks the space may be close to the eye of the deep on Earth. Okay. It's more appropriate to say it belongs to a space permeated by the sea of quanta rather than a relic left by an unknown civilization. Are we in that space right now? Are we in the sand pit? Okay, so tomorrow, meaning January 30th, they're going to decide on the official personnel to go in the sand pit. And it was Helia. Even compared to the Eye of the Deep rec recorded in the Archive of Shiksal, there are significant differences between them. Perhaps it's the different influences of the Sea of Quanta on Earth and Mars that caused this distinction. Really goes into that theory that, not even a theory, but like a known fact that the Hoyaverse games will call things that are the same by different names if it's like in a different area or like a different game, but it's like the same thing. So it's kind of what they're doing here, it looks like. But it's like actually lore accurate that that's what's exactly is what might be happening. After careful consideration, I've decided to use three question marks to represent our current status and this change there. January 31st now. So Helia got trapped in a hidden quantum potential and couldn't escape. She tries to get Coralie's help, but instead Coralie also gets pulled into the, the quantum well. And there's they're still good news. There's no strong fluctuations of Honkai energy. The flow of time and energy in the Sea of Quanta differs significantly from the proper world. And for a considerable period, we won't encounter issues due to insufficient supplies. At least according to Dr. Schrodinger, Schrodinger's theory. They shouldn't starve. Great. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Sena, I'm sorry, Senna's just standing in the corner. <laughs> Senna, what are you doing over there? <laughs> so how do we get out of here? Because this is where we're at now. It's January 31st, technically. At current, it's April 28th when I'm recording this, but it's January 31st, canonically. <laughs> how are we getting out of here, guys? Senna? <gasps> the dog! It's the godforsaken dog! <laughs> I gotta go get the... <laughs> I gotta go get the damn dog. <laughs> Bring in Senna. Because I want to. Did you see it? Yeah. <laughs> There's the dog! Oh, don't go in the portal. How am I gonna find the dog now? Space across the gap. Wee! What are you? Astral Aura? 
A recovery item. Okay. Fetch up to the strange dog. Oh, I can't I can't do yo-yo yo-yo sprints. What in the portal again? What the heck? Yo-yo sprints! Oh god. Okay, I need to do a double jump. Wee! Wee! Okay, alright, let's see if we can't. Oh, okay. We're in. There's that dog! What is it doing? Oh, okay. Hello. Hi, doggy. Did you make that weird noise before too? Don't tell me the dog is huge. What is coming out of that port? Oh god. Take those things back where they came from, or so help me. What is going on? Okay. To get the dog! Someone get the dog! Alright, well, we're fighting these monstrosities now. Okay. We have Astral Ops. Let's just go for it. Okay, Corley and Helia. The sound got really quiet for a second. Oh, hello. What's going on now? Another wave? Okay. <laughs> oh, these guys stack. Look at these little guys. They're so cute. Fortitude tutorial. I don't care. They have a meter. They have a fortitude meter. I don't care that much. I'm having fun. Ult with Corley. Get it, girly. The sound keeps going in and out weirdly enough. Helia ult. I actually don't think I've ever seen her ult. I don't think I really got a good look at it there either. Yahoo! <laughs> Senna's so fun. There we go. <laughs> Senna. I love Senna's little noises. Okay, now we're back to the normal Honkai format. Okay, we're back to this like visual novel-esque format, but we still have the 3D characters. Which I'm gonna be honest is really cool. Okay, um, I'm not gonna move my box today in this video, but we will for future videos, I think, mayhaps. But we're just gonna rock with it today. I do like the, the 3D character models, like slant, because they've used the 3D character models before, but these ones, they like slanted a little bit. I really like that. Six cents. <laughs> vibes. Senadina said, trust the vibes. <laughs> Where are we going to find the dog? Is it also, is it a good idea to find the dog? Do we trust the dog? Because I don't think I do. Is it about finding a way back to your base? I mean, I think I care more about the base right now. We can figure out the homeland thing later, but I just want to get out of the sea of not quanta, the sea of data. Like, I don't want to be down here. <laughs> the almighty dark lord. <laughs> Corley, what are we doing? That is definitely a fidget spinner. <laughs> what is with the laugh? What is the answer? Corley. I love, I love these characters already. That's the only valid information. Quantum potential well. Okay. So we gotta get out of here. <laughs> this is what we're getting at. We're, in, we're stuck in a cave. Too hard on the splunking. If we were fish in the water, we could find a way out of the cave. Okay. Understand. Okay. All right. So we just have to follow the stream of quantum energy and we'll get out of the cave, right? As long as we're not in an infinite pit! <laughs> Great! Moving along the energy gradient. Okay. Okay. Running your fingers along the walls of a flat maze. I don't think that's reassuring. I don't think it's reassuring. Oh, hi, we're gonna go to our homeland. Okay. Understandable. All right. <laughs> we'll either get out or go to a new bubble. Like, okay. The outcome isn't certain, but the process is. I mean, yeah. If it is like water, then yeah. It makes enough sense. Where there's a will, there is a way. We're not gonna be that simple though. Do we have to do? Is this... I don't know where we're at right now. Is this like a prologue after the previous prologue to chapter one? That... What is? <laughs> the son is like, we still trust you though. Even if you don't get it right, we'll still trust you. I love Sana. She must protect. We must protect Sana. If she dies, I swear to God. I guess we did call it the Sea of Data. Are we gonna- I could use a little bit of an info dump on what the difference is. I'm not gonna lie. 
って呼んでたよね。なかなかだ。今まで一般化した漁師の意味に触れたことはないから。Oh, we're, we're really info dumping, like straight from the textbooks. Okay. 私たちの惑星は100年前に大崩壊の侵食。So Mars. でも、まあ、I think that we're talking about Mars. おかげで、私の故郷はデータの意味に包まれて。Currently exists within the confines of the sea of data. Okay. So is that the current iteration of Mars? Oh. Okay. The narrator doesn't even say anything. It was just a little communicator buzzing. Unknown caller? There's nothing on the other end? What is what in the spam call? What in the. <laughs> was it though? Maybe it was like a. Because who would know to send a communication thing if we're not in our homeland? How would that even get through? The roaming charge doesn't that have to go crazy. Like, <laughs> they have to go crazy. Like, how, would you, how do you have my number? Coralie, the Almighty Dark Lord. <laughs> I saw people making jokes about that, and now, and now I get it. It's her, her title. We are gonna be stuck in here. I've been in here for 40 minutes. Alright. Follow the drone. Okay, noted. We're cruising. Yo yo cruising. <laughs> this is fun. Navigating with Senna is fun. Where are we going? I keep hitting attack instead of jump. For whatever reason. I'm not looking at what Corley is saying at all. That is something I'm going to have to go back through after um, when I edit this. Because right now, I got nothing. Down we go. Hi, guys. Let's do an alt real quick. <laughs> My astro ring is up. Okay, like, yeah, there we go. I was like, can I have that, please? All right, switching Corley real quick. Let's do that alt. Boom. Healy is up, and then Senna wants back. Senna no longer wants back in. Senna said, forget it. Now she's in. Her ult is back up, but I don't think we need it. Maybe we do? Let's just, I'm doing her ult, forget it. Do that. All right, Coralie wants in, sure. Helia, sure. She's gonna hold out on that really quick. I'm just gonna, okay, oh, uh, never mind. There's still another opponent on the field for some reason. Okay. Hello, Coralie. You're up. Senna's in. Why is there so many of you? Like, actually. Finally, we're free. <laughs> Power of the yo-yos. We still are gonna keep going though. I don't wanna return to Osha. Cancel, fine, we're gonna keep going. Bring out the yo-yos. Luckily we can go up the stairs with this. Oh, hey, how the heck do we get over there? Sacred portals? Use that, oh, what's that called? Like a grappling hook. <laughs> I was like, what's that called? It's a grappling hook, okay. We go, all right. Now we have to break through this, it looks like. I don't like the looks of that. Attack and break the obstacles in front. I'm gonna switch in Helia just because she has guns. There's that dog again. The godforsaken dog. <laughs> that trick again. All right, here we go. Let's do Astral Op. I'm getting the hang of combat for part two, which is good. Bring in Senna, ult Senna. All right. We're doing pretty good. Oh, we cleared? Looks like we cleared, okay. Where's that damn dog? I love dogs, by the way. <laughs> Senna is so angry. Thank you, Senna. <laughs> that little thing. <laughs> Senna said, where's that damn dog? <laughs> Maybe we're the ones causing trouble. I mean, if we're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Senna said, that sign won't stop me because I can't read. <laughs> we do need to escape though, yeah. We're breaking through. <laughs> Isn't that the same thing? What are we doing now? All right, keep going. All right, yo yo sprints. What in the? What is? Why? Is this the past? Did we go in a big circle and now we're seeing the, the past play out? What in the time space continuum? <laughs> Is it just gonna keep repeating them? What do we do from- what do we do? We're draining the tub. Okay, um... Why... 
We could end up like two rubber ducks struggling in a whirlpool. I mean, he kind of jinxed it. We did kind of jinx it, didn't we? Because now we are kind of just like swirling. <laughs> How do we get out of here? Is this going to keep happening? This like repetition process? Besties, I'm scared. <laughs> Where do we go from here? <laughs> Why is it hot? I mean, technically Mars is like fire or something. Fire star? Yeah, fire star. Because Lo Shing means fire star, I think. I don't remember. I think it means fire star. I know that Lo is fire and Shing is star, so like, fire star. <laughs> Put two words together. <laughs> Fire planet. Because stars are also planets in Honkai. Senna? <laughs> Why did you want it on camera? Senna? <laughs> Something that happened not too long ago is being replayed. Oh, that, that's a thing that the Sea of Quanta does, though, it replays things. No way, it's a coincidence. But it is weird that it happened like this. Because usually it's other stuff. And someone would have had to, like, not necessarily program it, but kind of set it up like that. Or that does could have a mind of its own. Wouldn't, wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> don't know who I should be more weary of. Coralie said, I don't trust any of you anymore. Oh, what are we doing? So, Sea of Data is the Sea of Quanta, but on Mars. Sea of Data is Mars' Sea of Quanta. I think. I think. Or how long are we going to be stuck in here for? Because it's been 54 minutes and I can't leave. Like, y'all who were complaining about Genshin cutscenes being too goddamn long and not being able to leave and just being stuck here, I think I found something worse. I think I found a worse one. And it's not that it's bad. I, this, I actually really like the story and the gameplay so far, but we need to hit a lull at some point, somewhere. It needs to be soon, because I, I don't even think I'm in the event that I set out to be in do in this video. Like, I don't think we're there. I think I was put into main story. <laughs> And I still have an event to finish within like three days. So, people like me or her would be, her would be Senna. But is Senna, is Senna actually from the Sea of Data? I guess this, like, again, it's an in universe reason because they, they wake up with, they just wake up with knowledge. It's an in universe reason to just explain. Like, what these characters were doing before part two? Nothing. They just didn't exist. Oh, wait, what are we saying? You mean, like, me being able to communicate with you via speech from the very beginning? Are Helia and Coralie using translation devices? Because I re remember seeing something about translation devices earlier on, but I I'm not entirely sure. So Senna is or was also born from that sea of data but in like a weird different way i don't know i'm assuming we'll get some sort of explanation sooner or later like even if it's not a full explanation it'll be enough to go off of to be like okay that makes enough sense it's like not a special skill that allows us to glimpse into the past and future, though, which is kind of as a thing with it, the Sea of Quanta. And in the same vein, Sea of Data. I think. This glimpse can help us. Like, it can't help us. It's nothing. So, what about the communicator? How did that even work? I need to yawn. I'm getting tired and I'm hungry. I want. I didn't have dinner before I sat down to record stuff. So I really want to be done so I can go and eat something. 
but I'm like super stuck. Ongoing important mission unable to check. Because I'm like, maybe if I go just check like the quest log or something. No, I'm just stuck here. How do we go over here? Okay. Acknowledging the role of the communicator? I still struggle to read the text that is ongoing when we are like in the middle of something. A good beginning is half the battle, but... Senna's good at motivating others. We love Senna. All right, up we go. Is it yo-yo time? Oh, no, it's not. It's aura time. It's technically a heal. I kind of wish I didn't have to... Hey, yo, that's the guy with the hood. It's you. What is your name? Fix not attempting to understand me. Hold on. So, this is still the damn dog. You're just a dog. Cities? Is this a city? But this is the guy. This is the guy. I wonder if this is the guy from Thelema's stigma. Is it? Because they're just in fancy outfits, but here it's like street clothes. Ooh. I really like his voice. Seeks balance. Because this is, I believe, is one of the seven shoes. Is he going to be the bad guy, though? Morally gray character, maybe? I'm curious. This is like really dark. If all the stars plummet, I will learn to observe an empty sky and feel the solemnity of its crushing darkness. Why are you so edgy? Why is he carrying that dog? <laughs> He's not carrying anything. Song Tue is up there. Is it Song Tue? Oh no, who is that? This is just a random NPC. Is it? Unsure. I think we might be getting two. Oh, Chen Shui. Who's, who's Chen Shui? Is this teacher? Is that Dream Seeker's teacher? What's going on? I don't know. When she disappeared, she only had the portable communicator. Okay, so that is her teacher. Or their teacher. Dream Seeker's teacher. Because she either plays. There's two different versions of Dream Seeker. So we're not that far from home then, are we? Or do all the other bubbles, like interlock with the sea of data okay so we got a brief connection i don't know what's going on this is a lot oh we really wanted to see our teacher is it a teacher or a friend i think it looks more like our teacher Disapp so we disappeared canonically dream seeker just disappeared Okay, it's like her senior. Senior. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's more like a elder friend. Like if Dream Seeker was like a freshman, then Chen Shui is like a, a junior, probably. I don't know. Uh, high school, American high school terms and college terms. <laughs> Ten seventeen a.m. So this is where we figure out. You've caught up with the live stream in the Sea of Quanta. <laughs> oh gosh. Coralie is so like deadpan and like sarcastic, but like in like a dark way. I love her. I love her. It's that goddamn dog again. Is it the dog? Oh no, it's a new one. What the heck is that? Okay, immediately I'm astral opping. <laughs> astral opping. Where's my mouse? Where I don't know what's going on. Okay, bring in Coralie. Old Coralie. All right, get the hammer. Go in with Helia. I think she just got rocked. I'm not even gonna lie. Senna's in. Yahoo! <laughs> Alt Senna, Alt Senna. There we go. There we go. All right, weapon skills. Coralie's back in. Helia's back in. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Helia ult. I get to see her ult for real now. Because I like saw it in the trials, but I don't remember the trials. I'm gonna be honest. There's another one of you, the Abyssal Eel. Bring in Senna. This is taking forever. Helia, you want in? Oh, okay. Nice. It's out. 
<laughs> Again, I'm not so sure how I feel about the widescreen format, but like, I, I'll deal. It's that goddamn dog! <laughs> My hand is on the keyboard. We just don't care. We just don't care about the dog. It's like, hey, what? You guys just don't care about me? Oh, <laughs> you're not getting out of this one. Senna said not this time. Whoa! <laughs> Blockhead. Are we in the orb? Yeah, we're in. We were. We're, we're. Hey, guys. Um, what bubble universe did we just get blasted to? The narrator's back. I'm the narrator. There was once a saying. In the vast expanse of the universe, the wheel of destiny ceaselessly turns, ensnaring all existence within its grasp. Yet the truth diverges. Are we gonna get into poetry now? No, okay, I thought we were gonna go two woods diverge in a yellow wood. I, no, I don't even, is that the poem? Two paths? I don't know. Anyways, the wheel of destiny, grand and pure, remains untainted by mortal affairs. Does it though? Does it? In reality, all things exist only within the penumbra which it casts, which I think is like an arc. Why is that the only mathematical term I remember? Under most circumstances, these shadows suffice, unambiguous to the last detail, for they have to. Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, some extraneous element forces its way in, giving the shadow of that great wheel, the greatness that slaughters all, a chance. How long does this text stay on screen for? I'm used to, like, Genshin, like, buzz buzz. Just like this very moment. I hear hopeful music, which is... good to know. We got out of the, the void? The sea of data? We're out? But where are we? Why is there a vault behind us? Are we all in different spots now? There's that dog! Are we still in an important mission? How long are we in the important mission? Observe your surroundings. Sure. I'll observe it. So, what? how... Listen, if this video gets really long, I will just cut it in half. I didn't know what I was getting myself into, and now I'm probably gonna have to stay up all night because I need to have certain things done for online video work before I go do offline work so I can work on the all this is gonna keep me up all night because I have uh, I have work I have to do online <laughs> after this oh god this is gonna this is gonna oh. I'm not mad about it I just didn't know this is what I was getting into and now I'm stuck we also investigate again oh don't lie to me we're sinking into the sea Oh, you're going crazy, and this guy's like first time. <laughs> this, <laughs> I know, maybe he's saying first time. Okay. Just keep your fear alive. First time? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Only then can the shadow let you survive here. The what? There's also like sea of data remnants on the wall here. Can I investigate that? Or send it the others nearby? No, I can't. Okay, well, it does automatically make you- there's more remnants of it. It does automatically make you walk in an important part. But if it's not an important part, like, you don't have to run. Like, you can run. So if there's, like, dialogue overplaying, you're walking. It's probably because it's timed to a certain point. Ooh. I'm no fighter. How do we get out of this, then? I'm not good at being sneaky. Song Tue! Isn't it Song Tue? It's a better for Lima, but Song Tue makes more sense in our current predicament. It's Song Tue! <laughs> Is this a change for the better? Or a deferral of <laughs> And she smiles while saying that? Dear God! Friend! We met a shoe! <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Oh God, maybe not. Okay, so despite the meticulously polished appearance, this strange phantom had an air of opulence about it. It's Song Tue. Right now, everything was gloomy, dilapidated, and lifeless. Except for the lurking monsters, it was hard to find any other signs of life. However, when the girl was there, she felt she was in a busy street on a summer night, waiting for a friend who was running late. <laughs> You're not silly like the others. Oh, I hit autoplay and then immediately went to the next line. Um, scared silly like the others. Uh, your... Your song to it. You are song to it. How are we going to explain it? A fraud. What is her deal? I thought she was very, like, elegant. She was, like, an elegant character, but... Are all the shoes crazy? <laughs> I would say I'm a businesswoman. Oh, she's, like, she's gaslight gatekeep girl bossing, is she? Okay. This is, uh, not what I was expecting. Okay. 
What do you want, Song Tue? Here you go. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Why can't she be? <laughs> Playing the hero. She's crazy. She's just like a little crazy. I know she said she's not, but she is. Serious matters. Do you believe in fate? Huh. I really like the pacing of the dialogue. It like doesn't really linger unless it needs to, but sometimes it goes by really fast. I think we should have had some room to breathe there. Unless maybe that's the point. Song Toy just keeps talking. She's a yapper. There's like, it's going by very quick. You know what though? I was saying that before though. The pacing is really fast, but I'm kind of okay with it. I'm just going to let it be fast. I would like if they gave it more room to breathe, but... We got a lot of story to get through. Right in front of your eyes. What's in front of her? Fate? I don't think this is the actual Song Tui, though, because she has this, like, aura about her, and her voice also sounds kind of, like, distorted. So I think this is just really just, like, a phantom created by Song Tui. Destined to die here? Okay, so we went back in time to before the Great Eruption? That's... How? I mean, what... hold on. Did I miss anything? No. Okay. Considering the skills she possessed, it was clear that silence was not the answer she was looking for. She's a yapper! Wasn't expecting Song Choi to be a yapper! Why do I keep encountering people who treat their lives flippantly? <laughs> Me playing any game whatsoever. Like, yeah, yeah, this option seems fine. I really want to eat something, so if we could wrap this up, that'd be great. Peering into the secrets. Oh, she's like a fortune teller, and that's why she's a businesswoman. Okay. That makes enough sense. I feel like that. I, I understand that. Alter your destiny. Oh, so she's like a boosted fortune teller. Level 100 boss, level fortune teller. <laughs> this stays for formalities. I mean, right now, I would be too! I kind of am! I've, I've been here for way too long! Song Chui, what are you doing? Oh, she's pretty. She's always liked hustle and bustle. That's fun. She's very fun. We're passing out. This would be a great place to end the video, by the way. But if it if it let me. Days of torrential rain that flooded the land. What if those without clothes? What are we going on about? What are we going on about? I'm the narrator and I don't know what's going on. Okay, we can't skip this cutscene. We cannot skip this cutscene. I'm stuck here. The stuff is gone, but Song Choi's orb is still here, just chilling. I think I am gonna try to uh, get out of this and see if it'll save progress after this, because we've been here for way too long. I need to figure out what's actually going on. Are we in an event or are we in the actual story? Because if this was the beginning of the story, I feel like I needed a little bit more background going on. But we got the, the Shadow Major gadget. I think we, okay, I think we got to a point where we can leave. So you obtained something quite remarkable on your first arrival. Check out the gadget you obtained just now and activating the Shadow Major in it will enhance its abilities. So we tap on activate, probably activate another one, but not yet. Okay. So, okay, I think we're out now, but we have this main story here. There's side stories. There's collecting figments, which I believe is event stories. I like that they kind of separate those. 100 Years of Solitary Shadow. So we actually just started the main story. We, we this whole entire video, we did main story of 100 Years of Solitary Shadow. We went through Dream Anew, Covenant of Finality, and Adventure in the Sea of Data. We did it all. Interesting. The narrator is still going. That reward claim enemy. So we did, we did get to start. We did get to start this part of the story. Which is pretty cool. Um, not what I meant to do today, but I'm curious. Okay, so we can hear Senna talking. So that's where we'll start off next time. So we're gonna to return to the Interas building. I believe our progress is saved, but I wanna see what's actually going on with this event. Keep going and look out for your companion. So if I go back out, okay. I know I haven't done a Memorial Arena. I Chen, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing Memorial Arena. I will say one thing that I'm quite annoyed by is I have been on this a different 
uh, channel in the chat to avoid getting like weird chat messages that I have to inevitably end up blurring. Um, and it, I think it reset my chat channel. I've had people found it. No, it did reset my chat channel. I don't appreciate that. I do not appreciate my chat being reset. I put it back. And you know, it's a really easy number to guess. I'm not even gonna lie, but no one ever's on there. So I just stay there. I don't want to edit it out later. There's some weird comments in there. All right. What's the event that I like have not started? Seven shoes in the maze. Seven shoes in the maze phase two is out. Seeking shoes in the shadow. Oh, I think I clicked the wrong button. I think I clicked the wrong button and that's what happened there. Cause I went to seven shoes in the maze and hit go here, but seeking shoes in the shadows is what we needed to do. This ends on the second, but technically this event ends on the sixth. Okay, so I'm safe. We got to start the story though. And I honestly, I think that's a win that we got to actually start the story. This banquet dance of sh ban banquet dance of shade. I'm unsure what this, this was an event in the open world. So has the event with the outfit not just not started yet? I don't know. I think the event with the outfit for Kira just has not started yet. That makes enough sense. I probably starts like the day after I go to record this. That makes enough sense. Cause if we go back up to back to your roots, this one opens. Okay. So that's not right. Okay, you know what? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. It'll be fine. I'm just glad I, that this seven shoes in the maze. Um, this I must have mixed up the two events and thought this ended on the second. It doesn't. It, it ends on June 6th. So that's much more manageable. But like I said, we did get to start the part two story, which is kind of insane. I don't know how I feel about that being the beginning, though. I feel like there's definitely prologue. I'm going to still have to cover up this little chat box because now I, I, I doxed my room number and I don't want people to know it because then people are going to go in it and start saying weird things. Anyways, um, I don't know how I feel about how they started the uh, chapters for part two. I feel like it was very abrupt. You go in really not knowing much unless like I knew a little bit more because I did parts of the prologue story and the event prior to the release. And there's like a gap, I feel like, in what we know. I I guess that's an okay continuation bit. I don't know. I feel like I'm a little bit iffy on the start. I feel like it just needed more information that you don't get. Anyways, we got to do part two. Part no, part two story, which is insane. We got to do that. I've been wanting to start that. And me getting a date of an event wrong forced me to start it, which was actually quite fun. I like it so far. Even if the beginning was a bit abrupt, especially if you're like just coming into the game, I feel like it's very confusing. But I like it. It's good. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I have to go fix this event in my calendar because I got it like the name wrong. I got I was looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at the wrong thing. It's fine. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below as well as subscribe for more and click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new ones. As always, I hope everyone had or is having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!